Welcome back to my tutorial on building a full stack web application based on the MERN stack, which is Mongo, Express, React and Node.js. So if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe now and hit the bell button to get notified once I have new tutorials in my channel. So now let's continue with creating a project. I'm going to use WebStorm as my IDE. You can use WebStorm or any other um, IDE in which you can create JavaScript projects. So I will click on create new project and let's call our app Mern Stack To Do. I will hit create and we will have a new empty project. Inside of this we will have two files, two directories. One of them is the backend. It will be our backend project and the second one will be called client. But of course this is not inside the backend, so these are separate. So our backend project and our client project. This will be based on React and this will be based on Node.js. So we will start building our backend API first and then we will move on to our client side. Here we are going to create a server.js file and once we have created that we will import some libraries and frameworks. But we, before we do that, now let's check what these libraries and frameworks are and why we need them. So the required libraries and frameworks are Mongoose, Express, Course and Body Parser. Express is a framework, the others are libraries. So let's look at them one by one. First of all we have Mongoose. Mongoose provides a straightforward schema based solution to model our application data. It includes built-in typecasting, validation, query building, business logic hooks and more out of the box. We will use this library to connect our Node.js app to our Mongo database. Express. Express is a minimal and flexible Node.js web application framework that provides a set of features for web and mobile applications. This framework will help us building our APIs. Course. Course is a Node.js package for providing an Express middleware that can be used to enable course with various options. We will need course enabled to call our APIs from localhost. Otherwise, web browsers will block our API calls. Body parser. Node.js body parsing middleware. Body parser will parse incoming request bodies in a middleware before handlers. Data will be available under the request body property. And this is what our structure will look like. So on the left hand side we will have our client which will be our React project and in the middle we will have our API which is based on Node.js. Inside it we have Express which is our middleware and this will use course and body parser two plugins. Then we will have Mongoose and Mongoose will help us to connect to our Mongo database and help us to create, update, delete data from the database. We will start coding our server-side project. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do that now and hit the bell button if you want to be notified when I have new videos in my channel. Now it's time to start coding our backend. So the first thing we are going to do is we will open up our terminal and we will move inside our uh, backend directory. Once in it we are going to initialize npm because we are going to need it to install the library and frameworks. I will use y um, as a parameter so I don't have to specify all of these one by one it will just initiate it and we are ready to go. So in a moment 
we will have our package JSON inside our backend project. Now let's start um, installing our libraries. npm install mongoose. If this takes long, I will pause the video and continue once the library is installed. Otherwise, I will just continue. Install save express. This might take a little bit longer. So I use the save parameter so I will get the dependencies. That's done. npm install save course. You don't have to install them by one by one. You can also install them all in one line. But for now, I will continue one by one. Um, body parser. That's the last one. Then we will have all four libraries. Or let's say three libraries and one framework. Okay. So let's check the spec. We have installed all four of them. Great. Now we have to create our server.js file, which will be our main file when we run our Node.js application. So let's call it server. And the first things we are going to do is we are going to import or require our libraries. So we will have mongoose. and express these are the libraries I have installed a moment before and then we will have course then we will have body parser that's it and we'll have one more. It's going to be called data. And this one I'm going to create now. Sorry. Okay. Now these we have installed, but this one we have to create. So let's create a new file, a JavaScript file, and this is going to be called data. This is what we are importing as data right here. Now, what are we going to do here? So with Mongoose, everything is derived from a schema. So if we want to create, um, get, set, update, remove data from the Mongo database, we need a schema. So let's get a reference to it and define our to-do items. So constant mongoose, since this is something we are going to do with the DB, we need our mongoose library. Then we will create our first data schema. This is a new mongoose schema. And inside we will have a to-do item. It's going to be a string and that's it. So far so good. We've got a schema with a property, the to-do item. The next step is compiling our schema into a model. So we will say module.export equals to mongoose.model data data schema. Now we have created and exported a model which we have to use inside our server. A model is a class with which we construct documents. In this case, in this case each document will be a to-do item with its properties. 
and be with its properties and behaviors as declared in our schema. Okay, so if we round up, we have a schema. This will be our database schema. And then we have a model which is derived from the schema and we have exported it. And here we have imported it. So now I know and I can use uh, related methods to interact, interact with my mongoose collection, which will be created again with this schema. Okay, now once we start running it, it will be much more clearer. So in the next lecture, we are going to connect to our database. For that, first of all, we have to create our database in the cloud or MongoDB. We will use a software provider, um, MongoDB Atlas, and there we will create our first uh, cluster, and then we will continue and connect to it from our server and check if the connections are successfully. So see you in the next lecture, and don't forget, if you're not subscribed, please do that now, and if you want, you can hit the bell button to get notifi notifications for further tutorials. See you soon.